Thursday. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear the song of God's discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me joy we share as we tarry there. None other has ever known. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is And he tells me I am his own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 1 through 18. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb 
and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she returned and, and turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where have you laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he said these things to her. The word of God for all people. Amen. Today, this gazebo is empty, different from other Easter Sunday mornings when we gather in this place. But even though this gazebo is empty, we celebrate that the tomb is empty. Jesus Christ is risen. And because he has risen, no matter what, we can face the future. God sent his son, they called him Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive, he lived and died. To buy my pardon, an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives, because he Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Amen.